first time on my YouTube channel, we are talking about LED monitors and what I'm using in my post-production. You're watching Mauro's Films and I'm your host, Mauro. Just after every filmmaking and photography production that I make, I have to actually dump my footage onto my computer. And yes, I have to edit that footage on some kind of monitor. My favorite choice for my studio monitor is the Dell 34 inch curved monitor that I'm using the last 3 years. Today we have an interesting arrival from InnoCN, the 27 inch 4K art monitor and yes I was using it the last couple of weeks in my studio home office and have actually an additional screen when editing and long nights at home. The exact model is the 27 inch 27C1U art monitor and we shall go in an in-depth review about it. InnoCN contacted me a couple of weeks ago and asked if I want to check them out their new monitor. Well I said yes because also I need a secondary monitor in my home office studio and well it was yes why not I will use it and actually understand if it's good for my production and if I can actually switch from the 27 inch to the 34 inch that I'm using in my studio. Well we are ready to get straight when unboxing. In the box you get everything to get started. Firstly the monitor with the actual stand. After it, you get also a DisplayPort cable, USB-C to USB-C cable, power adapter with the cord, and very deep instruction manual with all the languages, and the color calibration factory report. Yes, it's already factory calibrated with the dedicated serial number of it, and what measurement device was used to get the values. It's stated to cover the 100% sRGB curve and HDR400 free sync included in the monitor. Looking at the back port connection, we can understand that this monitor works also as an USB hub device. There's a two USB A port, one USB B port, two HDMI ports, one display port, one USB C port, audio out and power connection. The type C port can be actually used also as an display port device up to 4K 60p that this monitor supports or using it up to 65 watts of power to charge something or actually power and device that works with USB-C. There are also some built-in speakers that I would recommend to avoid using if possible. They are really not something. The monitor is built out of plastic, but the base and the whole stand reveal the interior metal base. So it's pretty solid in the actual feel and usage. It will not wobble around on your desk while using it. The monitor is tiltable, able to tilt up or down, rotate to 180 degrees to be used in portrait mode, so you'll be for sure more productive with this feature. In the front we have a pretty minimal design note with just the Innocent logo. The button to operate the screen are located under the right side corner. This screen is designed with art in mind and is not targeted to gaming folks, but yes, of course, you can game on it. The resolution of the screen is UHD 3840 x 2160. Being a 27 inch screen, the pixels were being close to it are barely visible and the overall feel is crisp with a sharp image. Being targeted to professionals, one main usage of my production were using Lightroom and Premiere Pro to do my work. I can say that the color representation gets close to what I'm used to see on my Dell 34 inch monitor. This is an IPS panel with 1001 contrast ratio and max 400 CDM of brightness. As for the panel uniformity, the InnoCN 27C1U have some minor backlight issues at the bottom edge. It's not a massive issue, but it can show up as light clouding in the darkness. Note that this can change with every unit due to tolerances of the nature of the IPSC. So there are some out there that are better or worse than that but overall extremely good. I get also this in my 34 inch Dell monitor and I didn't mention that this screen costs just only $400, to be exact $399, so we have to take that as a slight minor disadvantage in the whole package. 
editing in a 4K timeline using this monitor is more than pleasing and even in my home office I don't feel the need for a bigger one. Being used to wider panels, I can deny that I could give up the larger panel for this one. 4K is enough for a 27-inch monitor and putting the screen closer to my face to edit, I had no issues with pleasant views. The control layout is pretty simplified with a lot of dedicated features. You're able to navigate through the buttons. They're not the most intuitive ones, but you get along with them. You will be able to enter the professional picture modes, picture settings, on-screen display settings and other settings. For regular editing, media consumption and photo mastering, you still have more than enough at 4K 60Hz. In games, I would still recommend at least 90Hz. Yes, I see this screen as my secondary laptop monitor in my home office studio to do that long night shifts of editing. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below, I will be happy to answer to all of them. Until my next one, thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe with the bearing icon to get notified every time I make a new video and see you on my next one.